One of the most successful episodes I ever did was an episode called Stay in Your Lane. If you haven't watched it, stop what you're doing and go watch it real quick. For those who have seen it, I basically compared car insurance to the people you're dating. All car insurances have different packages that'll cover you for different things. Some have premium packages, while others have basic packages that doesn't really come with a lot of benefits. That's just like the people you're dating. Some people you're dating have benefits and you allow them to do more, while others need to remember what type of package they have and stay in their lane. Now, a lot of my female followers or say, Zeus, guys get out of pocket too. Don't they need to stay in their lane? What type of packages would they have if they went to stay in your lane insurance? Well, ladies, that's a good question. You about to find out right now. So I reactivate my Instagram account. First thing I see is you out on a date. Hashtag pissed. You cheating on me? You all hugged up with some light-skinned dude who takes amazing selfies. I take good selfies too. Who well, welcome to Stay in Lane Insurance? How may I help you? Dude, I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to my girl here. Is she really your girl or do you just call her that when it's convenient? Because checking our records, it looks like she has you signed up for the Situationship Package. The Situationship Package? What the hell is that? That's that gray area where you refuse to give her the relationship title, but you want relationship benefits. And according to our records, you only want to claim her when you see another nigger in her face. Look babe, it ain't that I don't want to claim you, it's just that I've been hurting. Real careful with my heart. You did I mention she paid the extra $10 a month for the no bullshit clause. So, until you make it official, you don't have the right to suggest, ask, request, or demand. She do. Ah, shit. Next. Girl, ain't nobody trying to get back with you, keeping tabs on you. I be calling you at 2 a.m. because I'm trying to talk about our son's future, which you don't care about. He was out last night at the club. You probably had sex too, didn't you? Didn't you? Let me smell your titties. So you must be the baby's father. How you know? Because you smell like child support. All right, so it says here the baby daddy package is our most popular package. It comes with awesome perks, specials, and benefits. Benefits? What kind of benefits I got? All right, it says here you get to be a good father to the child that you two made by mistake. And that's it. So I just can't pop up at her house? No. Sleep over. Nope. Stalk a boyfriend? Hell no. Still hit it? The fuck? What can I do? Well, it says here, unless you need to talk to her about anything regarding the child, you get to... Leave her the fuck alone. Next! Yo, so we meet at the club. I bought you drinks all night. Gave you the best sex you ever had and you ain't gonna pick up the phone for me? So you must have our one night stand package. Now this is a classic package. I mean, you get unlimited cheeks for 24 hours, but this is a short-term agreement. Short-term agreement? Girl, you know I gave you the best ding -ling you ever had. You know I gave you that beef whistle, that schlong dong, that Russell the love muscle. How many other men you think gonna give it to you like me, huh? How many? Well, let's check and see. So, this is the amount of men in the world. This is the amount of men in the world with dicks. This is the amount of men in the world with big dicks. This is the amount of men in the world with big dicks that know how to use them. That's me right there in the corner. Ow, ow. Take all that, multiply times five, divided by Drake, which means you ain't the only one out here giving good dick. Get over yourself. Next. <laughs> hey, remember me? I'm the one you never have time for. You know, the guy that you never make your man crush Monday. How you gonna make Idris Elba your man crush Monday but not me? I know what it is though. It's not 1 a.m. You know 1 a.m. when you usually call me? When you're horny, you want somebody to hold your ass? All right, here you go. Towel, what's this for? That's so you can dry off properly when you're done swimming in your feelings. Has anyone talked to you about how your particular package works? Whew. Ah. <sighs> That was great. Yep, I was there. Well, you can go now. Go? Yeah, go where? Yeah. I thought I was staying the night. What are you talking about? It's 1.15 in the morning. It's cold outside. It is really cold outside. I need the spoon. Like I a want good my side spoon. joint, stay in your lane. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. The DOG package does not cover you to stay over her house or catch feelings. The DOG package? Yep, dick on the go, AKA fast food dick. Look, she just wants you to come over, smoke her boots, and then leave promptly after. She's not looking for a relationship or looking for you to catch feelings because she's focusing on herself. Stay in your lane. Bullshit. Ugh, still fucked. So, round two, be gentle. Stay
stay in your lane agents. Always there when you need them. Yep, I think it would go something like that. More of this story, when it comes to knowing your role, everybody's gotta do it. It's good to know what you are, but more importantly, you need to know what you aren't. I'm Top Rope Zeus, live your dream, not your reality. Respect. Yeah, baby. You look better on Instagram. Lying to me through an iPhone screen on Instagram. Hey, how you doing? I'm that girl that you met on Instagram. You a damn lie, you are not the same girl from Instagram. You're only bad on Instagram. I, Zeus, take you, Danielle, to be the biggest fucking mistake I've ever made. When do you think we can get married? Married? <laughs> Bitch, we can't even be Facebook friends. Pass me that ladder over there. Shut the door when you leave and don't slam it. You asshole. You said you love me. You said I was your everything. I know you better check that fucking tone before I sign it. <laughs>